Welcome back to Cop Tool. I'm Scott alongside Rob, and here's what happened this week in the world of power tools. TIA sneaks into the Bosch HQ, and PTR teaches us how to program our new Makita Impact. Ryobi gives Ego some 40 volt competition, and Milwaukee has paved the launch pad for this spring. Those stories and more coming up next. It's Friday, February 22nd. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. The secret agents over at Tools in Action went deep undercover this week, sneaking their way into the headquarters of Bosch to reveal some exciting new tools and products. The TIA crew gave us a sneak peek at the latest Bosch cordless 18 volt miter saw that can handle 350 cuts of 2x4 material on a single core battery. We also got another good look at Bosch's x lot grinder accessory system before seeing the all new nail strike wood bit in action. Of course, what would a new Bosch tool be without its own caricature? We're not exactly sure who this little guy is, but he doesn't appear to be part of the new Megawatt crew. Believe it or not, he might be actually too tame for that group. To see all of these new tools in action for yourself, visit Tools in Action on YouTube. Workshop Addict seems addicted to pitting Rigid against Milwaukee, giving us yet another head-to-head -head comparison of these TTI stablemates. This week, Brian and Jeff took a look at a pair of cordless heat guns that have a few major differences. The red version relies on the power of its 18 volt battery platform to reach temperatures of over 700 degrees, while the rigid takes an unusual route of combining both an 18 volt battery and butane fuel. Now the result means faster heat times and higher temperatures to the tune of 1100 degrees. Now managing butane isn't for everyone, but if you're like these two and need your heat fast and hot, which who doesn't, then head over to Workshop Attic on YouTube. Travis the Tools by Design gave us a demo of the Metabo 1 inch 18 volt rotary hammer that features a removable, swappable chuck design. He shows us how easy it is to switch between the SDS Plus hammer chuck and the included straight shank chuck, seriously expanding the available bits. The drill also boasts an available side handle and onboard dust extractor, making this one of the most feature packed models on the market. Visit at Tools by Design on Instagram to see for yourself and join in the conversation. The team at Pro Tool Reviews finally launched their exhaustive 31 model Impact Compero this last week, and the all new Makita XDT16 took home the crown. I first got my hands on the new Makita Impact wrench at the World of Concrete this year, where we learned that this tiny impact comes loaded with nearly every feature we've ever seen come out of Makita. Of course, the more features there are, the better off you are reading the manual which we both know you're not going to do that. So thankfully, Kenny just posted a video that details how to use all those features that make this tool the king of impacts. If you plan to pick up one of your own, be sure to watch Kenny's video. If you still haven't decided, don't miss the full impact shootout at protoolreviews.com. No, those aren't new Ego tools. This neon green outdoor power equipment lineup is actually Ryobi's new 40 volt models. Tool Craze detailed a number of new and updated 40 volt designs this month, including an updated 14 inch chainsaw, a new string trimmer, new handheld and backpack blowers, and this, the Vac Attack Leaf Mulcher, which is essentially a small dolly with a vacuum tube attached to a garbage disposal that claims to churn 16 bags of leaves into one bag of mulch. That'll show those leaves, the little bastards. Attack! All right, calm down, man. Vac Attack! All right. If you're dealing with a vegetation insurgency of your own, you can learn more about all the latest 40 volt Ryobi editions at toolcraze.net. Now it's rare that we miss a video from the Dirt Monkey, but last week he posted a tool review that's been keeping me awake at night. For those of us who have yet to become a certified arborist, the very concept of a stump grinder is terrifying. If your problem is a large block of wood that spent the last 50 years growing an anchor into the ground, there's really only one solution. Hook a motor up to a huge wheel covered in teeth and chew the stump into tiny bits. I'm not so worried about their occasional lack of eye protection so much as I am about them standing within a quarter mile of that thing. You may not need one, but I can promise you'll like watching them. You can watch all the violent action over at Dirt Monkey on YouTube. Milwaukee has a busy spring ahead of them as they launch a new 6-inch M18 fuel angle grinder, expanding their already robust lineup of 5-inch and 9-inch cordless grinders. It's slated to arrive in March along with a new selection of red stick digital levels, followed by two new expandable framing levels, all of which is merely an appetizer for the real entree here. April brings us the new rafter and framing square. Yeah, it is magnetic, laser etched, and red. Let the countdown begin. If you need more info on all four new products, go check out our detailed blog post at coptool.com. I'll be honest, it never occurred to me that the M18 job site saw may accept a dado stack, but it does. As it turns out, you can order a throat plate directly from Milwaukee or from Milwaukee Service Center, and that's just what the construction junkie did. Fortunately, he filmed the installation and posted it to Instagram for all of us to enjoy. The M18 table saw can accommodate a six inch dado stack up to three quarters inch wide. If you've been itching to make some dado joints with your cordless saw, 
You can call 1-800-SAWDUST to get one of your own. Until it arrives, you can watch the video over at Construction Junkie on Instagram. All right, guys, thanks a lot. That's going to do it for our 48th episode. Congrats to Lauren Minish. Lauren won last week's prize, which was the $250 gift card to our sponsors at Ohio Power Tool. Now, this week, we've got something really special. Rob, what do we have? We do. I don't know if you guys are quite ready for this, but Milwaukee came calling again. This is the Milwaukee Deep Cut Portable Bandsaw Blade, Thin Metal Edition. At 44 and 7 8 inch deep cut, this three pack was perfect for cutting through stainless steel pipe, unistrut, threaded rod, and several other things listed on the packaging. It's got three times the life in stainless steel. It cuts more material and it's two times faster in thin metals, but that's not all. This time around, you can also pick up the 44 and 7 8 inch deep cut thick metal version, Extreme Metal Blade from Milwaukee. This version cuts through stainless steel pipe, cast iron, schedule 80 pipe, if you know what I'm saying, and also angle iron. There's many, many more things it does, but I think that's enough for now. So we're giving people blades. Yeah, two three packs, which is six bandsaw blades. So six bandsaw blades. Yeah, pretty sick. What's wrong? You don't seem happy. I feel, I feel like we could, we could do a, l a little more. Did, did you not watch that footage? These things are sick. These beautiful, are beautiful, beautiful amazing. footage. But, uh... All right, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it might be a little difficult to use these uh, if you don't have the right tool. So, what should we do here? Um, well, you know what? Here, like, uh, maybe I'm full. Uh, what if we just gave him this too? Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that will make right. it better. Deep cut variable speed bandsaw kit. This is the uh, 2729 22HD. Um, so yeah, if you win the bandsaw blades, we'll give you this too, which I guess is all right. I was gonna say a, a sticker pack, but this is a lot better. You have really outdone yourself, Rob. The bandsaw blades are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, coptool.com slash contest. Get all the info on how to win that stuff. Thanks so much to Ohio Power Tool, our sponsors. And guys, before I forget, it's the last week to get our limited edition February shirt. It is. Right before the new uh, March shirt comes out. So go check that out again at coptool.com. And uh, don't forget, like, subscribe. We'll see you next week. See you guys.